So I'm Andre, and I was working on adding tiled rendering support for Falcon Impress this year. So for those of you who don't know what tiled rendering is, this is a this slide has been shown many times before, probably in the past. You basically draw parts of the document or these tiles, assemble them, and that can then be rendered on screen. It is used mainly for mobile applications where you need to be able to zoom and pan around smoothly because the graphics wouldn't be able to keep up with doing that manually. It's also potentially useful for external applications. So we do already have a GTK Plus widget which could potentially be reused by other applications. The main, or there, is, there has been interest expressed by known documents so far who want to use this and hopefully we'll be able to use it at some point. The problem is that our widget at the moment just paints one huge tile which isn't extremely useful and is quite slow. So, But the idea is that people can use this and we can then fix the back end implementation so it's actually usable without being quite ugly. So. Tiled rendering itself is used for various other applications. Probably the most known here is for Firefox on Android, and we've actually reused some of their work for an Android viewer, more of which I'll speak about later. And as far as I can tell, it's probably used in various iOS applications, or at least Apple provides a tiled rendering implementation and we've got a demo app written by Tor, which also uses tiled rendering. And as far as I can tell, based on observing other applications, I think some browsers on a desktop will also use this, so it looks like Chromium uses tiled rendering. I haven't actually looked into the sources though, so I can't confirm that. So the first thing I started on was Calc. It's not actually finished yet because it's fairly complicated making it work. The primary issue is it has various assumptions about how it draws the document. So it assumes that you've got an on-screen window which starts, basically it aligns cells to the top left and then it loses lots of precision because it, it scales cell sizes multiple times and by the time it gets on screen you've got errors of 3 to 4%. And because we're drawing the document not as one whole, but in very small parts, we need the edges to match, which wouldn't happen if we were to use calc like this. So I've basically been working on rewriting all the scaling, which makes things look nice in tile rendering, but normal calc then becomes quite useless, or you have various glitches when scrolling around, or editing, or zooming. So most of that is now working again, and there, but there are still a few small issues with that. So at the moment we're still on a branch with this work. The drawing layer, which is sort of drawn on top of... So Calc has sort of the background is the cells and the contents which are drawn. The drawing layer is a layer on top of that. That was very simple to do. It's basically the same as what I did in Impress and Draw. So Impress and Draw, it's quite hard to find where you actually plug into it. It has a very complicated design. So after a few days I then realized how to use it and it was about five codes, five lines of code to make everything work. <coughs> and then draw is the same code, also works for free. And so this is a screenshot of the GTK tile viewer which was implemented at the start of the summer to allow testing of the work I'm doing because we don't actually have any other easy way to check that things work. So the what we actually use tiled rendering for so far is this Android viewer. So most of that is implemented by Tomash, who will be talking about this tomorrow. So that was initially implemented using Writer for which tiled rendering had already been implemented. And once my impress and draw work was ready, that was plugged in and worked. I'm not quite sure how much work was needed on top of that, but I think it was fairly usable. The calc branch unfortunately doesn't work, so I only built that over the weekend, and it just shows a blank white screen. 
So I'm working on debugging that at the moment, and hopefully we'll have something usable in the future. And that's everything.